Welcome to our panel, Exciting Opportunities in Krakow, Poland. Life science is growing here. My name is Justyna Czeszek, and I'm Investor Services um, Manager in Krakow Technology Park. This panel takes place thanks to EU funds and Project Power Up Your Business in Małopolska 2, in which we promote Krakow in life science sector. Krakow Technology Park is a business environment institution, so-called one-stop shop for businesses in Krakow and in Małopolska. At our disposal, we have a full toolbox to facilitate growth of companies, from startups incubator accelerator to income tax exemptions for new investments like production facilities, R&D centers, or shared service centers in life science. As the COVID pandemic is changing the supply chains, there are strong reasons to think about relocating at least some divisions of companies to European Union. And Krakow Poland can be a perfect choice. Today, with help of two companies, Selvita and Artigen, and a VC found InnoVenture, we will present what Krakow has to offer. Let us begin with two minutes video that will present Krakow and life science ecosystem. As you have seen, there are strong entities in Krakow that create a vibrant ecosystem in life science. I will give the stage to these entities, companies for introduction. With us today is Ms. Edyta Jaworska, Integrated Drug Discovery Director and Management Board Member of CRO company Selvita. Ms. Jaworska, could you please tell us more about yourself and Selvita? Sure. So, hello everyone. My name is Adeta Jaworska. As uh, Justyna mentioned, I'm management board member of Selvika, responsible for sales and integrated drug discovery collaborations. Uh, Selvita is a contract research organization, so we provide multidisciplinary drug discovery and drug development support for both small molecules and for biologics. We are focused on having an impact of improving patients' quality of life by supporting our partners' research in various therapeutic areas, for example, oncology, CNS, inflammation, but also uh, many others. In the area of drug discovery, we work on integrated projects, usually from heat identification to nomination of a preclinical candidate. 
And in regulatory studies, we, we help our customers to implement new products on the market by performing analytical testing. Solvita was established in 2007. Currently, we employ uh, over 550 employees. We are headquartered in Kraków, Poland. We foreign office is located in Boston, South San Francisco, and also in Cambridge in the UK. The company is public. We are listed on the Warsaw Stock Exchange. Uh, here in Krakow, we are located on the area of uh, Life Science Park. In addition to that, the company decided to construct uh, an own building, uh, and we have actually already started the construction work. The new building will be located on the area of Krakow Technological Park, which is very close to our current infrastructure. Let me also maybe clarify one thing, because maybe some of you remember Selvita as a biotech entity. Uh, having a pipeline in oncology and two programs in the clinics. So basically, in October last year, we decided to split the company into two independent uh, entities or companies. One of them is Rivio Therapeutics, and this is a biotech company developing innovative therapy, uh, therapies uh, in the area of oncology, whereas Selvita is now a pure preclinical CRO, having majority of clients with a pharma and biotech industry all over the world. Thank you. The second company that is with us today uh, is Ardigen, um, represented by Mr. Piotr Stępniak, Immunology Director. Uh, please tell us more about you and your company. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, my name is Piotr Stępniak, and today I have a pleasure to introduce Ardigen to you. Ardigen is a company uniquely focusing on using artificial intelligence or AI to transform biomarker and therapy development. Through our expertise and projects, we advance precision medicine and help it surf on the wave of technological revolution brought, us, brought to us by artificial intelligence methods. We developed a couple of business lines, including immunology, microbiome, biomedical imaging, and custom services. In each of those domains, our key success factor is a skillful combination of AI with laboratory experiments. By creating these AI lab cycles, we increase the accuracy of our solutions reduce time and the amount of experiments necessary to achieve our set goals. With uh, our unique approach and experience collected so far, we think we are ready to uh, tackle really big challenges. Uh, and one of those challenges we aim to solve is to bring immunotherapies of cancer to the next level. In our immunology product line, we created Ardimunvax, a platform identifying immunogenic cancer neoantigens. Those neoantigens are short peptides unique to cancer cells, and that makes them great therapy targets for cancer vaccines, as well as TCR-based cell therapies. We have presented our platform to the scientific community, and that opened the door for us to join a prestigious Tesla consortium last year. It was set up by the Parker Institute of Cancer Immunotherapy and Cancer Research Institute from the US and invited only the best companies and institutes in the world working in this field. The next step for us is to complete the technology that will enable us to revolutionize how TCRs are developed and as drug candidates. Of course, we will do that by applying AI. Our new technology will let us find unique TCRs which are out of reach for current laboratory-based approaches and can open a new generation of TCR T therapies. It is also my pleasure today to announce that Artigen has just secured funding that will accelerate the research and development of this technology. And to conclude, currently we are searching for scientific and financial partners to open a pipeline of TCR candidates using our technologies. Thank you. Thank you so much. Um, and from another angle, a life science ecosystem will be shown um, by Mr. Leszek Skowron, Life Science uh, Investment Director of the VC Fund InnoVenture. Uh, Leszek, please tell us more about you and your operation. Okay, thank you, Justyna, and hi, everyone. Uh, this is a big uh, pleasure and honor to be here in such a noble group and have the opportunity to present myself and before all uh, our fund and our portfolio companies uh, briefly. Uh, as introduced, my name is Leszek Skowron and I am investment director of InnoVenture, uh, where I built and support uh, the portfolio of uh, broadly taken life science companies in which we have uh, also medtechs and biotechs 
Uh, as in venture, we are a seed fund uh, that usually is the first step investor in uh, these uh, undertakings. Uh, we invest in the um, highest risk stages, and it is uh, because uh, we can afford this uh, thanks to uh, the financial leverage of the National Center of Research and Development uh, from Poland. Um, when it comes to possible fields of, of cooperation uh, with us and uh, with uh, our portfolio companies, uh, of course, we are looking for interesting um, potential new uh, portfolio companies uh, in the life science um, area. Also, we are looking for uh, co-investors with smart money in uh, this uh, life science uh, sector. And um, for our portfolio companies, uh, we are looking for potential co-developers and uh, partners in terms of uh, clients, customers, because uh, some of our uh, companies are actually now ready to uh, to cooperate with uh, with big players. And just to give some example, because I, I think we have not enough time to briefly uh, describe all of our uh, companies, I will just uh, give uh, the, the example based on uh, our company called Amorphous Pharma Development. Uh, this is the company that develops uh, unique technology of amorphization uh, and uh, stabilization in this form, uh, active pharmaceutical ingredients. It is important and give uh, big uh, advantages uh, because uh, it uh, provides um, significantly uh, increased bioavailability of the, the drugs. And for a patient, it means that uh, you can have a much more uh, bigger therapeutical uh, effect which much lower side effects uh, for um, for pharma companies it uh, could uh, give a unique selling point increased market shares and and uh, profit uh, also what is uh, worth to mention here um, this technology uh, significantly increases the possibility of uh, going successfully to clinical in clinical trials with new drugs. So uh, I think that this company uh, gives at least a, a, a few uh, possible areas to cooperate in terms of uh, investors because we are developing our own uh, pipeline of drugs, but also the pharmaceutical companies that want to cooperate uh, in terms of our client. We have already clients uh, that we are acting like a service provider and we are ready to uh, cooperate with uh, the next uh, clients. Great, thank you. Um, after this introduction, I would like to ask a uh, first question. Um, could you please um, show us what set of circumstances allowed your companies to thrive in uh, Krakow? Um, Ms. Edita, what is the most important asset um, for Selvita um, that you found in Krakow? So having the, in mind the industry, uh, we're working it. Uh, so basically the most important asset are obviously people. Due to our location in Krakow, we have an access to a number of excellent scientists. So uh, in Krakow every year, there are over a thousand life science graduates. We mostly recruit from faculty, faculties of medicinal and analytical chemistry, uh, biology, biochemistry, biotechnology, and also others. Most of uh, those graduates actually come from Jagiellonian University. This is one of the oldest universities in Europe. It has a long-term tradition of educating life science students, as well as enabling them to gain international experience. The graduate of Jagiellonian University was, for example, Nikolaus Copernicus or uh, Leo Sternbach. Um, Leo was a chemist who joined Roche uh, and invented Valium. This was the most prescribed drug in the uh, history. So generally, there is a great tradition of educated, excellent chemists in, in Poland. On the top of that, we also recruit from abroad to gain employees with many year international experience. So at Salvita, we have scientists actually from all over the world. Currently, around 8% of all our employees come from abroad. Uh, there are 14 different nationalities. For example, Ukraine, Italy, France, Spain, Great Britain, but also Russia, Mexico, or India. So as you can imagine, it is uh, 
not ob- not so obvious for those people from Western Europe to move to Poland. However, just the fact that we have the headquarter here in Krakow helps us a lot. So Krakow is well known for many foreigners and actually all of them perceive them as a fantastic city offering a lot of opportunities in terms of culture, sightseeing, accommodation, but also sports and job opportunities. Uh, Krakow is among the best outsourcing cities in the world, being competitive in terms of costs uh, or access to educated people. Also, Poland in general is among 10 best places to invest in uh, post-COVID time. This is a ranking prepared by uh, CEO magazine, so quite fresh one. So to wrap up, basically, human resources, growing research infrastructure, but also favorable scientific environment, as well as the history of drug research in Krakow, uh, are the great potential of the city where we work. And all those factors really help Selvita to recruit scientists from abroad. And that obviously has an uh, important impact on creating a multinational working environment at our company. Thank you. Thank you. Mm, Mr. Stempin, um, what about the Artigen? Uh, your product line is based on different set of skills. Are you able to find them in Krakow? Yes, um, we have some unusual skill sets for a life science company. We particularly build our skill set in the domains of uh, biology, uh, data science, bioinformatics, and software engineering, but also domain knowledge in immunology, microbiome, and cancer biology. And as uh, Mr. Dita said, uh, Poland, especially Krakow, uh, with the Agilonia University, has a great tradition of educating highly skilled experts in life sciences. Krakow is also well recognized in the world as an AI hub, and that comes from the teachings efforts of uh, Jagiellonian University and the AGH University of Science and Technology. Also, thanks to a lot of IT business growing in the area, that IT industry is extensively using cutting-edge predictive modeling. Uh, And we are able to tap into that potential and recruit excellent and experienced candidates. Moreover, we uniquely offer those machine learning and AI experts a chance to apply their talents to projects out of their primary field. Many of them are tired of teaching cars how to autonomously drive or improving marketing campaigns. With RDGen, they get a chance at working towards saving lives and fighting fighting one of the worst diseases humankind is yet to overcome, which is cancer. And that is why our motto is uh, Code Against Cancer, which you might have noticed in the video. That is also the motivation of most of our staff. The availability of the candidates is very good. And it is reflected in the fact that RDGen was able to grow in five years from just 12 people to over 100 people. Thank you. Um, Mr. Skovron, uh, InnoVenture Fund um, works um, and funds uh, companies from whole Poland. Based on your experience with biotech companies, um, do you see a potential for such undertakings in Krakow? Yeah, for sure, there is a big potential in Krakow. Uh, Unfortunately, we still have no uh, biotech company uh, located here in Krakow. We have some medtechs, but uh, I truly believe that it is only a matter of time. And in the next few weeks, we will have uh, this uh, kind of company from Krakow in our our portfolio, uh, because we are uh, having uh, such a companies in our uh, investment pipeline, but actually uh, our uh, biotech companies that have headquarters in uh, other cities uh, work uh, pretty often uh, in Krakow, uh, for example, outsourcing uh, some parts of their uh, R&D activities. And it is uh, because uh, the access to this, I would even say world-class scientists uh, in, in Krakow and also the the availability of top-notch infrastructure, for, for, for example, uh, that is available uh, in Yankinonian Center of uh, Innovation. And I believe that these two factors, uh, so the scientists and, and the infrastructure, uh, decides that they decide that there is a potential uh, at the very beginnings when the idea uh, arises and where when uh, 
you need to do some uh, proof of principle and for sure uh, Krakow uh, have, have this this potential at this stage. And then uh, when it comes to um, proof of concept uh, stage, um, I think that there are um, a little bit uh, different factors deciding. And uh, first of uh, which is um, the access to seed capital. And looking at Krakow, uh, I think that five or six years ago and we have no seed fund uh, that uh, that uh, were uh, able to invest in biotechs um, there were seed funds uh, dedicated for for example uh, it projects today we have at least three seed funds specialized in that kind of project so we are strengthening in this area a lot um, the second uh, factor uh, at this stage um, that is very important for me is the uh, access to top level managers who not only know how to manage the company uh, as an entity, uh, not only know how to uh, develop company in business terms, but also are able to talk, uh, communicate and cooperate with scientist it is not always uh, an easy thing and um, also uh, in, in in this context uh, year after year I, I meet more people who come uh, to um, to Krakow from other cities uh, or uh, from abroad uh, and uh, give the know-how the knowledge uh, in, in our community and the third uh, Last but not least thing, uh, I think, is the access to um, local benchmarks. Of course, biotech projects from the very definition are global projects, but um, to go global, uh, you need to first you, um, fight with local issues. And the local issues of startups starting uh, in Krakow are totally different um, of issues uh, of startup uh, from Madrid, Paris, Brussels, and so on. And it is always very valuable and appreciated when you have chance to go to the next street and ask someone who uh, has uh, dealt with this kind of problem you have and ask them um, how have they managed. And what I need to say, and it is from my own experience, for example, with Selvita, that these companies are very open and, and uh, helpful, uh, the young, uh, helping the younger sisters and brothers, let's say. Thank you for uh, this help that you provide, Edita uh, and Selvita, to younger companies. Uh, and thank you, Leszek, that you uh, help these companies grow as well. The second topic that I want to focus on today refer to, uh, refers to current situation. Um, the COVID time was a difficult time for many companies. I wonder how were you able to reorganize your business uh, in this uh, time? Uh, and maybe, uh, Edita, uh, could you please um, tell us whether Selvita was able to provide services to your clients without problems? So generally speaking, we are in quite lucky position as biotech industry was actually one of the least affected by COVID-19 industries. Nevertheless, we obviously had to implement uh, some changes, uh, some additional measures to ensure safety and health of our employees. So first of all, uh, we implemented flexible working hours uh, during the pandemics. And obviously for those who could, they were allowed to start to start working remotely. However, for the laboratory staff, obviously it was not possible. We had to perform projects for our customers. So we introduced shift work. It allowed uh, us to minimize the number of people in the labs and also keep distance between them. We obviously introduced additional internal procedures, for example, like regarding disinfection of the laboratory space. And all those measures allowed us to keep full operational continuity. So honestly speaking, we do not really observe a significant loss of productivity during the lockdown. However, on the contrary, I can just say that we actually experience a growing demand on our drug discovery services. So uh, especially American companies decided to diversify the outsourcing strategies and move some projects to Europe. And there's where Salvita turned out to be a good partner. So in this way, we gain new clients, new contracts. We started also supporting pharma and biotech companies in anti-COVID-19 projects. 
So, for example, by offering production of recombinant proteins, which are needed for antiviral uh, research. Obviously, in the result of coronavirus outbreak, uh, the world has changed substantially, and all of us know that. However, uh, the mode of doing business uh, became just a bit different. Obviously, no business trips of our salespeople, no face-to-face -face meetings. Uh, nevertheless, many digital tools have helped us to stay close to our clients, to our partners, and to continue projects smoothly without any major disruption. So basically, for us, the pandemic created uh, initially some organizational challenges, but uh, later on, it really contributed to the rise of new opportunities. So as a proof of that, I can say that uh, just yesterday, Savita announced financial results for the first half of this year, and the revenues uh, increased by 47% in comparison to the same period in 2019. So I, I can't really say that we were somehow uh, affected by COVID-19, luckily. Or badly affected. <laughs> yeah. uh, so, Mr. Um, Stempniak, the specifics of Artgen um, are different than that of CRO company like uh, Silvita. How uh, is the pandemic affecting your business? Yes, uh, one of the differences between our companies is that Servita CRO relies heavily on laboratories, whereas our work is mostly done with computers. Therefore, the pandemic lockdown did, did not hit us. In fact, we were able to seamlessly move into a fully remote work model and uh, not only continue our operation, but also continue to grow the number of projects and staff at the company. And on the business side, uh, similar to Servita, we also noticed some positive effects. Uh, with all the people around the world trying to work from home, the barrier of distance stopped being so visible and uh, opened channels of collaboration. Uh, we have uh, also noticed an increase in the global uptake of novel AI-driven technologies. And a good example for both of those things is what happened to us. Artigen was able to set up a collaboration with a COVID-19 vaccine corporation from New Zealand, half a globe away. And in that project, we used our AI platform created primarily to design cancer vaccines. And in a matter of weeks, we delivered blueprints uh, for a coronavirus vaccine design. They are now producing and uh, getting ready for testing back in New Zealand, down under. And I think that this case demonstrates very well that new opportunities for speeding up the global therapy development pipeline. And uh, personally, I hope this trend will continue even after the pandemic is over. Thank you. Um, Leszek, how the current situation affected companies in, in a venture portfolio? Mm -hmm. uh, to answer that question, I need to divide our portfolio companies into three groups. The first group, there are companies that are let's say, totally unaffected by the pandemic and, and, and lockdown. There are companies that have secured financing, all the stuff needed in their labs, and they just go um, with the schedule uh, in, in their activities. In the second group, we have companies that have uh, some delays, uh, unfortunately. Actually, we have to such a companies, uh, both are uh, conducting the clinical trials and the clinical trials uh, were uh, held because of the uh, pandemic. But these companies uh, use their time of, um, of, of that hold uh, well because they uh, are looking for another potential applications of their technologies. For example, one of these companies is developing very sophisticated um, neurological technology uh, and uh, during this, this hold they um, started to develop uh, this in a uh, more uh, lifestyle uh, use case uh, which we uh, have thought uh, before uh, about, but uh, we, we had no time to, to work on it, actually. And the uh, third group of the uh, companies, uh, the, the companies that the pandemic was la like a, let's say, rocket fuel uh, for. Uh, in this group of companies, we have, for example, telemedicine companies, uh, 
I think that since some time, the telemedicine in general needed uh, some kind of icebreaker. And then when the uh, pandemic happened, um, this, uh, this icebreaker uh, occurred and um, make people try telemedicine and, and check how fantastic uh, it is. And in general, I, I need to say what that uh, as uh, Adeta and, and uh, Piotr have said, uh, we have uh, no heavy wanted company because of the uh, of the situation. Thank you, everyone, for this first-hand insight into what's happening in life science sector in Krakow, altogether and in COVID times especially. Because of the time constraints, we'll have to summarize. Krakow is a safe place with stable situation in European Union. According to CEO magazine, Poland is in the top three of the world's best countries to invest in and to do business in for 2020. Companies like Selvita, Ardigen, and many more find here an interesting pool of highly qualified specialists in biotechnology, chemistry, medicine, as well as in IT and even AI. Companies considering relocation of some of their operations from other places in the world will find here not only lower operation costs, but also innovative technologies and R&D projects being developed here. Relocated management scientists will find in Krakow access to great international schools, vibrant cultural life, and a big community of expats working in companies like Selvita, Ardigen, and many others. Krakow Technology Park, a company that I work for, provides all the assistance needed, starting with finding proper location, could it be greenfield, labs, office spaces, as well as uh, connecting with uh, cooperants, other companies and institutions. Moreover, we grant tax incentives for new operations in our region. And worth noticing is that the regional aid intensity is one of the highest in the European Union in our region. In my own name and in the name of all panelists, I want to finish by saying, feel invited to Krakow and Małopolska. Thank you. Thank you.